Hi folks, welcome back here now again to the men's senior football final. We have uh, Southern Districts again in this final uh, as they were in the ladies' final uh, up against St. Pembers. So again, this will be a, a fairly evenly matched game we, we would anticipate. Southern Districts have been playing very well all year long uh, and would probably come into this game. Very strong performance against uh, Greenwood last week. Um, I reckon it was the first time throughout the year they had uh, every player available to them that they needed and it showed in the, uh, in the level of performance they produced. Uh, the Greenwood team um, in five finals over the last six years are always, were always in with a shout but um, fortunately for Finbars they, they, they were stronger on the day. While we're warming up here, guys, we'll, uh, we'll just name out the team. So uh, we start with Southern Districts. So we've number one, Kevin Canavan from Mayo. Owen Farrell from County Tyrone. At number three, we've James Lacey from Carlow. At number four, Mick Carroll from Armagh. Number five, Mickey Kelly from Tyrone. Mickey actually had a wife uh, <coughs> playing in the, in the first game for Southern Districts. Number six, Mick Massey from Tyrone. And number seven, Val Mulcarnons from Mayo. Number eight, Sean Sweeney, also from Mayo. Number nine, Darren Devlin from Tyrone. Number 10, Darren Keane from Limerick. Number 11, Darren McGuinness from County Down. Number 12, Barry Rose from County Donegal. Number 13, Aaron McCarney from County Tyrone. And number 14, full forward position, Mick Kennedy from Armagh. At number 15, rounding out the starting team is Marcus O'Neill from Galway. Um, substitutes for today for uh, Southern Districts. Uh, excuse me, guys, just reading this out here. Uh, Quivine McDonald from Kildare. Steve Casey from Cork. I assume his brother Ivan Casey from also from Cork. Kenny Foley from Kerry. Number 20, Keith Hartnett from Limerick. Number 21, Jason Ryan from Offaly. Number 23, Tyg Lawrence from Wicklow. Number 24, Sean Finnegan from Monaghan. Number 25, Barry Miles from Cavan. Number 26, Johnny Cassidy from Donegal. And number 27, Chris Mackin from Lowe. So that rounds out the Southern Districts team for today, guys. Uh, obviously, the few extra names mentioned there, they will be lining up with uh, 21 players, again with six interchange on the bench. I'll hand over now to Darren for the St. Finbar's team. Yeah, so St. Finbar's team, uh, number one is Dara Curran from Kerry. Uh, number two is uh, Dermot Fitzgerald uh, from Limerick. Number three, Pater Fawn from Longford. Number four, Paul Ronan from Dublin. Uh, number five, Alan Lynham from Offaly. Six, John Donnelly from Tyrone. Seven, Martin Atkinson from Wexford. Eight, Stephen Murphy from Loud. Nine, Ronan Flaherty from Galway. Ten, John McCoughlin from Loud. Eleven, Gerard Clancy from Galway. Twelve, Thomas Fahey from Tipperary. Uh, Thirteen, Paul Power from Waterford. 14, Polly O'Donoghue from Kerry. 15, Brian Lonigan from Offaly. Subs they have are Colin O'Mahony from Tip. Shane Flynn from Tip. P. Powell from Tip. Joe McGowan from Leitrim. Shane Powell from Waterford. And Keen Hart from Galway. A few honourable mentions we have in there. Lads who've probably put in all the effort all year, but uh, are as important, but just didn't make the cut. Killian Driven from Mayo. Adrian McGuire from Longford and Greg Murphy from Kildare. Uh, managers today for uh, Finbars, Alan Burke from Mayo. And we're in, the ball is thrown in. Finbars have won it straight off the bat. Stephen Murphy is blocked down there by Mossy. Mickey Mossy has given the ball away to uh, number 10 there, uh, Garo, uh, John McLaughlin. It's launched in, but Free out districts for fullbacks want to free out. Here's, here's, here's. 
picked up by Sean Sweeney displaying a lovely top knot today uh, that's a nice ball in there swept up by Pat Arfon John Donnelly gives it out there Districts have done well to turn that back over there. Tackling's fairly intense. Uh, that's Murphy. He's giving away a free there. Stephen Murphy. like uh, number 10 Darren Keane he's going to go for this one off the ground it's been brought in so uh, referee today is um, Robert O'Callaghan in good stock there isn't that right Mick great, great stock all together let's yeah. That's um, Aaron McKearney there. It's over the bar. Quite a fast paced start. Everyone just needs to settle themselves a bit now. Keeper has just kicked it straight over the line there. kicked it in there it's won by Mickey Kennedy Mickey's been around the fringes of the panel uh, the last couple of weeks he's managed to push and get himself a starting position districts coming into this game as uh, league champions they beat um, Greenwood in the final uh, deservedly so, they've been the most consistent team through the year. Sean Sweeney with the line ball, gives it over to number nine, Darren Devlin, back to Darren Keane, number 10. That's, that's Darren McGuinness. Mickey Kennedy. Barry Rose to Mickey Kelly. Darren Keane, Mickey Kelly. So district sh showing patience here. They're working the ball around, retaining possession, waiting for the break. That's a strong shoulder by Ronan O'Flaherty. Very good shoulder. Very clean though. Very nice. We oh, like throw. it. Ronan O'Flaherty is uh, probably man of the match last week in the semi-final, I'd say. Uh, comes from the Aran Islands. Fluent Gaelgore. And a high flyer in all senses of the word. When he goes up for a ball, he doesn't come down without it usually. We have an injury here now at the moment out on the pitch. One of the Finbars guys on the ground. But the play continues. Robbie hasn't seen it. Number 10, Darren Keane, is on the ball. He's given a 1 2. District here showing a lot of patience, walking that ball around. He's gone for it. Wide and ball. that's wide. He snatched at that a little. So the Finbar's man is up on his feet now. He seems to have taken a bit of a knock to the head, but he seems okay. That was number 12, Thomas Fahey.
I think the important thing for Finbars here is that they stay, stay in touch in these early stages of the game. Districts will put on a lot of pressure, as they normally do. And uh, Finbars can't afford it's a better to better kick this time. Finbars have won the free out of that. Cooper's not happy. So thinks he's getting hit. Nick Mossy, I think, was involved in that. Not sure. Maybe deserves it. That's a good effort That's there. Good point. From uh, great point. From the left wing. That's well won by Val to Darren Keane. Back to Sean Sweeney. Mickey Kennedy. He's beaten a few men and he's taken down. Mickey, absolute live wire with the ball. Kelly here now giving the ball to, uh, refs asking it to be retaken so Mickey Mossy with the ball it's Barry Rose picks it up back to Sean Sweeney Mickey Mossy giving it into space lovely ball in and Darren Keane that's, well that's good, good pressure back. good pressure well, from Finbars no, they need to walk this up now. A bit of, bit of structure. A uh, bit of a high That's a bit of a hidden there. hope. They'd be lucky to come out with that, and they don't. It's districts to clean up after that. Well, districts here to build again. Let's kick That's that into nice space. In. That's a good ball to Marcus. And a nice lead. Kicks it into Aaron McCarney. Referee allowing us to play on the Finbars come out with the ball. So, looking to switch it here now, I think, at this stage. So, Finbars looking to walk it up through the middle. It's won by Paul Power. He's done well to hold on to it. A great win. Vincent Lynham. Well won by Mossy. Uh, free boy. Quick be taken by Mick Mossy. Well, Finbar's man did well in to intercept that ball and put it off for a sideline kick. <laughs> Finbar's work it out from the back again. It's Thomas Fahey on the ball. Good ball in front. Well, did well to win that in the second attempt and got the free afterwards. Referee bringing it forward and also. So Polly, I don't know who here knows the ball. Kerry man. Yeah, Looks so like he's uh, teeing it up for a, for a bit of an effort here at the, at the points. He'd usually be good from this kind of distance. Learn from the great Brian Sheehan from the same club, St. Mary's, back in Kerry. This time he's pulled it wide. It's 
clean catch for Thomas Fahey. But it's well defended by Districts. Uh, Finbars have managed to pick it up again. Kicked That's in by Stephen Murphy into the, into the corner. corner. Won by Paul Power. That's a brilliant turn by the Finbars man. That's a good score. It's a nice ball into space by Murph there. He's sporting a, a lovely moustache, I must say. Not similar to your own, Mick. No, I must say, no, that probably looks a little bit better. I wouldn't let my child there either, you. <laughs> so, well fought ball there. Timbers come out with it. To get into that kind of forward position. Oh, he's won it. And Murph has pulled it. Across the post. Across the post. The yeah, Finbars need to be careful here now. They need to be taking these chances. Yeah, so far they've had the, the balance of the chances, but. Two points. To one. Yeah, not sure if this big kick out is actually working for districts. Yeah, it seems to be Finbars are getting their hands to most of them. As again, they basically nearly won that one. He took a big knock there into the back. It seems to be okay. Paul it's a yellow card the for uh, the number seven Val McCairns. McCairns. Short ball Wouldn't taken be a stranger out. to yellow cards. Finbars now. Vincent Lynham wins that. Mickey Kelly is after winning the spill. District's defence did well there to break that one, though. No? Carrer. Districts on the counter now, just trying to patiently work it out from the fence. Kicking it into the full forward line. That's won by the Finbar's defender. Finbar's doing well here at the moment just to control that play. When the loud man number 10 and to, to well a good, good lead here again. Paul Power, Paul Power is looking for the man running into the space. He's won it. Paul Power has got it back again. He's going for it. That's, That's over the bar. That's a good score. So we'll see what Districts decide to do here now with this kick out. Are they going to go at the same? I'm going to mix it up a little bit and put a few out in front of a few players. I think if I was the keeper, I'd be trying to change it up now, Mick. <laughs> Same again by the looks of it. And once again broken down by Finbars and, and uh, yeah. winning possession at the end of it again. Finbars seem to be winning all the breaks here. Good lead there with a bit of attention from the Finbars man. That's a good block. Great, great block. And Districts come out with it now. It's Darren Keane. Gets it back up. Gives it to number 17. Steve Casey. Yeah, a big, lot of pressure here from Finbars. Yeah, and they Finbars do have to win it back. Relentless. Again out to the lead. Paul Donahue. Uh, he missed kick that more effort. So Mickey Kelly with the ball now. 
back to Darren Keane. He's giving it straight to John Donnelly. Oh, Finbar's coming away with it again. Paul Power, he's coming out very far to win that ball, but thus far it's been very effective. That's a bit he's of managed a to distribute the ball quite well. That one's very far into space. I think Finbar's will come away with it again. Yeah, he's done well there. Well, Finbar's have a couple of guys coming Back through the Steve middle. Murphy, is he going to go for it? He's gone for it. That's, That's a, a point. Score. Great score. It's a good score. So he adjusted the moustache that time and it went over. Oh, so Finbar's now uh, building a bit of a gap. Four points to one. Let's Districts. see what he does with this kick out now. Yeah, but Districts won't be too worried at this point in time. But they do need to settle it down a little bit. In fairness, Mick looking out there, I'm not sure he's got many options to kick to. If I was him, I wouldn't be happy with what I'm seeing. Districts come away with this They have one. won it, though. Uh -oh. Finbar's do well to come over the cornerbacks with the ball again. So, switching it now again through the keeper. Again, showing a lot of patience here on the back line just to get keep possession and get it out safely. Stephen Murphy giving them an outlet. To Tom McLaughlin. He's oh, a bit of a slip here by the Finbar's man. And well recovered there by McBossy. To Steve Casey. To it's not Stephen Casey at all, is it? Districts will walk right around here now again. Unfortunately, Finbar's man has cut that out. And they come out again in the defence. We've got a couple of options here now, I think. There's a good lead here from the... It's a good ball into line. space. Looks like that's... Um, got a good turn of speed Shane on Flynn has come on. He's uh, a big soccer man. He's come to the, the, the piece for Finbar's late in the year, but he's... Shown his worth in the last couple of games. Won that ball well there. And he looks very dangerous on the turn. The chance for Pauly to redeem his last free kick. Usually quite a solid free taker. Free yeah, kick. that's a good free. It's over the bar. So I think the keeper here needs to look for a couple of short ones. See the every every man is marked. Fimbers have everyone marked. They're not given many options. In fairness, uh, that's a free. Thomas Fahey there pulling on the jersey of the number nine for districts. Darren Devlin. Is that over the bar? That's a good score. Gaps back to three. Fimbers did it unbelievably well there to win that ball between the two district spies. Fimbers now walking around again behind the player. We're Sean Donnelly over. switching it to Vincent Lyman. That's not Vincent, that's um, Garrett, that's uh, John McLaughlin, apologies. Giving the Ricky ball away Kelly. here, uh, Finbar. So they've got a bit of a dangerous situation here. They've for got Finbar. a man inside. He's pulled it down. I think he's in trouble here. I'd be surprised if that wasn't a yellow or a black. To me, it'd be a black. I thought it was quite cynical. But yeah, no, I agree. I think he's in trouble here. 
Uh, Districts had three men on against the one from Finbars. He did what he believed he needed to do, but I think he's in a, a spot of bottom. And yeah, he's received the black card. Yeah, fair call. Quite cynical, rugby tackled him to the ground. If he didn't do it, they were through on goal, but it's a price he has to pay. So that's Paul Ronan for St. Finbars. And they leave the field um, card. One of the Casey brothers is on, I think it's Ivan, number 18. Now these, these boys with the dreadlocks, they've been quite dangerous throughout the year. Let's see if they can help add some scoring power to Districts. The districts punished that uh, Finbars there with a free kick and put it over the bar. So the gap now is up to back to two points in Finbars' favour. Finbars win this kick out. Cleanly won. Good kick out. Yeah, we had a disaster here in front of us with the man tripping over the cable, but I think he's all good. <laughs> We're still alive. Yeah, there's, uh, there's some off the ball stuff going on here as well, Mick. The ref's not aware of. Well, look, it was bound to happen, Daz. Uh, yeah. With these two teams out there, it's going to it's going to intensify too, I would imagine. Yeah, as I, the game I, goes on. pushing and shoving. And I think he's uh, ably assisted here today yeah. by uh, a couple of experienced sideline uh, umpires. So, yes, it's certainly getting a little bit rough yeah. and tumble now at this stage. Finbar's win that free yeah. out. Be back to Ronan Flaherty. To Martin Atkinson. That's John Donnelly, the centre back on the wall. To John McLaughlin. Polly O'Donoghue. Into Shane Flynn. Shane Flynn back to Polly. Good interplay. He doesn't have an option though inside. He's going to have to go for it, and that's wide. I don't believe Finbars need to be doing that at this point in the game. Yeah. I think they need to work it back out and actually have a, a go again. I think that's waste, wasted ball. And he changes it up this time. Changes and actually it up, gone short and that's worked well this time. So they're walking down here now on the right wing. Darren Devlin. Mickey Kelly. Oh, we have a free in here for uh, Districts. He's brought it up to the Finbars guys are throwing silly, the ball away. Silly move. Unnecessarily. Here by silly move. They've gone from a difficult free to score to a very scorable free. from Aaron McCarney he's been one of their better forwards throughout the year a new recruit this year for so a backed up point close game here In the back here by yeah. districts on the Finbars man, so free into Finbars. It's 
Stone is obviously getting in Paulie's eyes there. You can see he's putting his hands up. Murph kicks it straight over the line though. Sean Sweeney, Mickey Kelly. The team sheet says that's Stephen Casey on number 17, but I'm pretty sure it's not unless he chopped all his dreadlocks off and grew six inches. Timbers winning back here again and I'll drive forward. Shane Flynn on the ball, very pacey forward. He's kicked it in to try and give Pauly a chance. It's gone into space while he's won it. He's picked it back to Cooper Fahey. Pauly's going for That's it. That's a lovely score. That's a nice score, well worked. That's better from Finn Bass. Yeah. He seemed to be doing well finding those corner forward leads. Yeah, that's right. The uh, the corner forwards are making good runs and the balls balls going into them are going into the space and giving them a chance yeah, to win it. Absolutely. Paying off. Well, that's down there by the all bars, fin bars need to do. You give a high ball like that, they just need to drive through it and they're taking advantage of it, they've won the break again. There's a man possibly through now, well cut out by McBossie. Well cut out there, that was critical cut out. They were through on goal if he didn't get that. <laughs> so District's now working out again. Mm. It's keen with a ball down the line. No, yeah. just out, so it's Finbar's line ball. Mossy was holding his leg after kicking that ball there. He seems to be st still limping, st yeah. limping a bit. He was out injured from the league final due to, a, I believe, a hamstring injury. Could potentially be niggling at him again. Number yes. 10, Darren Keane, is down. The coach, Tom, is waving that he needs to come off or he needs a physio to come on. Yeah, he doesn't look good here looking at the uh, the waterway um, helping him out here on the side. He's looking for a rotation by the looks of it. Yeah, He's he got looks a lot of blood on the side of his head there. Split open, yeah. So definitely need a blood sub here. So not sure how that happened, didn't actually see yeah. that. I have to ask for the replay back in the studio. So that number 18 is one of the cases for sure, you know, with the dreadlocks. It's listed as Ivan, I'm pretty sure that's Stephen, so I think there's been a potential misnumber here. Or potentially uh, Mick has written down the wrong names, which is a strong possibility also. That is absolutely a possibility. Yeah. Cooper is going through Fimbers with the ball. Through here well now. Shane Power was on the little rocket from Waterford. He's running, he's just recovered from a hamstring injury. He's given a nice ball into nice Shane Flynn. And he's won a three. So Finbar's with a chance here to put three points back in it again. A very scorable free for Pauly, we've seen him do it already. Julia obliges and puts it straight over the bar. I must say I was with Shane Power yesterday and his hair didn't look like that. Looks like he got a haircut for today's game. Yeah, I believe they call it the Champo Cut, Mick. That could be it. He'll do well in connections tonight, I reckon. Win or lose. It's number 20 is after coming over districts. That's Keith Hartnett. Oh, districts are running at strength here, guys. They're running at There's pace. three or four players here running through. They put a few subs on. They seem to be adding a bit of pace to the team. Marcus O'Neill 
That's a good score. score. Yeah, it looks like um, districts have brought on a lot of subs there, Mick. They make a difference to the pace mm. and power of that attack. Absolutely. Put a bit of pace back into it, yeah. Bit of fresh legs. Districts do seem to be working that little bit harder for their scores, but I think they're maintaining that space. Yeah, so yeah. half time here. So. Seven points to Finbars. Districts five points. What do you make of that half, Mick? Very hard one to call that at this stage. Um, I think districts are possibly playing a little bit under themselves or beneath themselves at the moment. Uh, Finbars have played well. I think they could have had another couple of points, I think, but um, I think they've played well considering. Um, districts would certainly have come into this game as favourites. So uh, Finbars would consider themselves in a good position here at half time to be two points up. Yeah, I agree. I think uh, Finbars probably could be further ahead. They missed a few frees, a couple of chances. Um, but uh, it's, a, it's a good game of football to watch so far. It is, and I'm sure there'll be a couple of discussions at halftime there between the teams in regards to some of the tactics that we're seeing out there. Certainly that kick out from the um, district goalkeeper needs to be mixed up a little bit, and I think when he did that, they got some uh, value out of it. Yeah, so. 100%. Every time, uh, every time district's keeper kicked it out, uh, you could be nearly sure there'll be a fist from a Finbar's man going through the ball. They were never going to get it cleanly. So they changed that up. It seems to be working a lot better now. Yeah. So, so looking forward to a good second half, I think, yeah. at this stage. Send it back to Joanne and Pat back in the studio. Yes, back to you, Pat.
So welcome back here now, folks, to the second half. Finbar's lads are uh, just taking the field, just awaiting districts to come back on. But say, I want to say a, good, a big hello to uh, everyone all around the world here today that is in uh, slightly different circumstances, I suppose, than uh, ourselves here uh, in regards to restrictions and, uh, and the COVID uh, and the likes. So I uh, hope all of you are doing well. Uh, we are very lucky over here to have uh, no restrictions at the moment and, uh, and luckily no cases. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, everyone is enjoying the day out as a, as a result of that freedom. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you had Pat Spillane and Sean Kavanagh have a massive argument about the condition of the Tyrone camp, etc. last week. Luckily, they weren't able to have that argument today. That's right, yeah. We shut it down. No reason for it. Districts here taking their time to, to come back out. It's going to be do or die. This is the last 35 minutes of football this this year, no matter what happens. Fortunately, there's no state games this year due to what's happening over east. But as Mick said, we're lucky to be where we are. The referee there now is just walking over to try and put a bit of rush on the district spice. Looks like he ordered a special tight fit uniform for himself. I must say he's, he wears it very well. Shane Power as well, he's number 20. It's, uh, I mean, it's great to see him here representing the Traveller community today. Uh, playing, oh, right. playing well oh, so right. far. Shane, Shane has come a long way. So it looks like a slightly different lineup for our districts at the start. You've got number 18, one of the Casey's is going in full forward. Now he was. Um, I believe that's Stephen. He was actually uh, man of the match for the league final. He scored three or four points from uh, play. Uh, himself and his brother Ivan. I'm not sure if Ivan is playing today. He pulled his hamstring in the game before the final. Maybe not recovered at this stage, but... Um, I went back at it. Ball taken here by Districts. No driving forward. Yeah, switching play out here to the right, lovely kick. Well won by Aaron McCartney. He's going that's, for it straight off the bat. A, that's a brilliant point. It's a nice score brilliant with the left boot. He scored a few like that throughout the year and I'm waiting to see it from him so far and that's a good answer to oh, any critics he might have out there. Reminds me of myself in my heyday. Not really Mick, his marker's still standing and his nose is still in place. That's true, that's true. District's come out with this one as well. Shane Power does his best there to dispossess to no avail. And there with Casey now with the ball. Coming in, there's a Finbar's man luckily get away with that high tackle. Timbers now take the quick free and come away with it. Stephen Mercy retaining possession. They're back to Pat yeah, They're working this well at the moment. They're going backwards, but they're still they're holding possession. Wrong they're going to reset up there now. He's done well to win that. That was a bit of a heavy collision. Ref yeah. lets the play go on. He's still down here. But oh, he's pulled it back. The two boys, that yeah. was a heavy one. No badness in it. I think just an accidental collision. No, and Finbar, Finbar should get possession from where the play was stopped.
Finbar's now to restart the play. Just on the half forward line. That's where great ball to Vincent Lynham. He gives it into um, Holly O'Donoghue. Retains possession, gives it out to Thomas Fahey. That was a lovely ball in. Ball into um, Ronan O'Flaherty. Oh, it's a good stop, Ronan O'Flaherty. He puts it over the bar. The end of it. So we went for the goal, didn't get it, but they took the point in the end, guys. So uh, a nice point from nice the man, move. the man from Inish here. On wire fought, as he'd say himself. That's straight to Finbar's man, Murph. That kick out, going back to his old ways, the keeper. Lovely block down there by District to District take back position. to win it back, though. Fair play to them there. Creevy McDonald, number 17. Finbar's taking the uh, free from here. Paul Power going for the point. That's Paulie, he's put it over the bar. Yeah, I think that move worked out well for Fimbers. I think they were lucky in the end. Yeah, I think so. It was a bit of a wild ball. It, it worked out for them. So back now again to three points. couple of pitch invaders here at the moment Les is about four or five little kids on the pitch and the parents are doing well here now to get them off Finbars have won a clean catch from District's kick out again and now they take it forward through uh, Shane Same. Power is it? yes Shane Power on the ball Paulie O'Donoghue Trying to find a way through, staying composed. Gives it back to Atkinson. Stephen Murphy. Back to Paulie O'Donoghue. Looking for an option inside. Finds Paul Power. Paul's going for a point from there. It's outside of the boot. It's falling the short. It's falling into Shane out. Flynn. Shane Flynn is... Uh, blasted wild, blasted wild wide. Blasted wide. Should have done better there. Yeah, he's going to regret that one. The umpire has put the flag up. That's interesting. Um, from here, certainly it was uh, it it's, was definitely it, a white ball. That's true, but must have been an optical illusion, Nick. Must that's what been, she yes. said. Must have been. I do wear glasses after all. One by Finbars, Finbars again. again. It's a similar, it's the same story we're seeing here repeatedly, Mick. It is. Southern Gestrick's man is just kicking it. Just, it. This kick out is, uh, is destroying him today. Throw ball out of all that, and it's probably a fair result. Between Stephen Murphy, the Tully Allen man, and Quivine going up for the ball. Shane Power, Murphy wins it. Shane Power loses it. Number 11 comes out with it. Darren Shane McGuinness. Goes, Shane goes in again. That's well done by the district's man to hold Shane off. Beautiful field. Beautiful field by the district's man. That's a great catch. That's Aaron McCarney. And he looked to put this over the bar and settling zone a little bit. It's your own man. Well, he took his last free with his left foot, Mick, if you remember. It looks like he's going to go off his right. That's why he's a multi talented this man. We'll, we'll wait and see. 
Same result, lovely score. Difficult man to mark with both feet. Was kept fairly quiet himself by the Greenwood cornerback a couple of weeks ago, though. Brian McConnell. Playing well gonna, today. I was just going to say, Daz, that wouldn't have been you, was it? It wasn't me on this occasion, Mick, no. So District's come away with this kick out for a change. Oh, a bit of a miss, miss handball here, lads. Uh, Finbar's come out with it. And uh, I think District could be in a spot of butter here. Shane Powers through. It's a and goal. Power puts it in the back of the net. Shane Power puts it in the back of the net after receiving the ball from uh, the Finbar's man who seems to be down at the, on the ground injured at the moment. That's I think Brian, he got a, Brian Lonigan, a, a I think knock on the back of the head, I believe. Um, so hopefully he's okay. They'll take the score right away. A goal from the man who missed the semi-final last week due to a, a grade two hamstring tear, apparently. He's had the bag of frozen peas on his leg the last two weeks. It seems to have paid off. <coughs> Six points in the game now, Mick. I think if so districts don't change their kick-out strategy. They're in for a world of pain here. I think they're in trouble, yeah. Certainly from here, I think they're in trouble. I'm just thinking about Shane as well, but... Uh, uh, in, in the interest of divulging uh, the, the facts, uh, Shade actually works with myself and Daz, so uh, he's going to be hard to live with if uh, Finbar's go on and win this game. Well, lucky for me, I already don't talk to him, Mick. I'm not concerned there. <laughs> and, oh, Finbar this, should have taken that ball, yeah, but I think they the, come over it in the end anyway. The sun was in Ronan's eyes there. He usually would catch that, but they still managed to come away with the ball. I think if districts don't break this one down, I think, uh, yeah, I, 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 I can't see them coming back, to be honest, the way they're playing at the moment. It's John Donnelly looking for a piece of the action. On to Vincent Lynham. Atkinson. I'm not going to lie, I'm struggling to see the numbers this far away. That's Stephen Murphy. Giving it in to Shane Flynn. That's He's gone up for it, but well Mickey for Kelly has well. kept it. Out to Donahoe. And we have yeah. a free in by the looks of it. I think the referee is going to do something here. As they say in Cork, the book is out. The book is out. Yeah, and that's a yellow card, is it? Yeah, it looks like a yeah. yellow card. So, looks like Paul Power is going to take this one. He fancies his chances by the looks of it. It's a tight angle. He's going off the ground. runners off the ball but he think he's got his mind set on it uh, just a little bit too far left look this is a final and Fimbers have been here many times before and uh, they're very very good at uh, winding things down so I think districts now need to score a few fairly quickly well, they're going to need to start winning their kickouts which they have done now yeah. So they carry, they play on. Darren Keane, the blood man, is back on. Heavily bandaged head. His haircut now looks like Shane Powers. Oh, we have Finbar's win the back once again. Great pressure by Finbar's now. I think Districts need a few other options up long. There's some there's stuff off the ball there. John Donnelly's gone down. He's back up again.
So I think uh, there was a bit of a ducking of the head there, I believe. So Finbar's here with a bit of space now again. Stephen Murphy on the ball. He's the man out there in front of him as well. He's put Shane Power into space. So he's got a bit again. of a run on it. Gives he's a off a good ball. That's a wide ball. That's a bad miss. That's a bad miss. Um, I hope Finbar's have a fines committee because that's definitely ten dollars in my opinion. Definitely. Well, I don't think they'll care if they win here today, does? But uh, certainly it'll be counted for if uh, if it doesn't go their way. Yet again, well, the district's man's done well to come out with that. He did well there. Picked it up. It's a free to district. It's a free yes, to the districts. Yep. yep. So, Finbars are playing the game here. They're trying to slow down the play. Yeah. They're well ahead. As I said, they're very good at this. Um, yeah. They've been here before, and they uh, they know how to wind down the clock when it needs to be done. Game management's what they call it these days, Mick, isn't it? Is that what it's called? We used to call it time wasting. <laughs> Marcus O'Neill gives it back yeah. to Garrod Clancy. He's getting a lot of pressure here from Finbar's forcing the kick. He's very over. surprised if that goes over. Done well to retrieve that. That's uh, well, we'll Keith Hartnett. That's a great win back again by Finbar's. Uh, Shane Power here now again with a ball, nice and casual. Done well with that one. Oh, he's done very well to come out there. He's shouldered, he's held up. He's, he's done come out well. with the ball again. Robbie doesn't want to give him a free, that's for sure. Stephen Casey comes out with it. And Jason Ryan. Bit of a tussle here. Lane's been getting involved. Marcus O'Neill. White ball. Wide so yeah, it doesn't mm. not looking too good for districts at this point in time. Yeah, you, you normally expect Marcus to, to score those ones. They need to be putting a bit of pressure back on Finbars. Not at the moment, I don't believe Finbars sees uh, sees that pressure. They're controlling uh, the ball quite well. They, they look very relaxed. They do. They probably have 70% of the position at this point in time, possession at this point in time. Advantage here now at the moment for districts as they move forward as the free get the free eventually. Darren Keane gives the ball into space for Marcus O'Neill to run on to. Great lead there, he needs to fumble it. He's managed to get the ball off to Aaron McCarney back to Darren Keane. This is more like districts just walking in and taking your time. Showing a bit of patience. He's found a gap. And he's won the free at the end of it all. Every score here today is well earned by the way uh, these defences uh, are yeah. working. McCarney here now looking to take this free. They need to score that. They really do. Probably well taken. This just really needs some leaders to step up now and uh, take the game to Finbars because they're they're really running out of time here. Yeah, I'm not sure what time is left as I didn't uh, start my clock this time on. It can't be more than 10 minutes at this stage, I would say. You'd have to ask where the district score is going to come from, though. Yeah, I'm not seeing it at this point yeah. in time. They need the next couple of scores at least of, uh, to get back in this.
Bimbarez have come out with it. Shane Powers on the ball. He's surrounded by three men. He's held on to it. He's managed to pass it off to Atkinson. He gives it across calmly to Ronan O'Flaherty. Ronan O'Flaherty looking up for runners inside. Can't see any. He decides to go back to Alan Lynham. Again, they've got options. Gives it into Shane Flynn. He shows not they've to take the mark. All over the place Cooper the Fahey has it. He's going to score good. a point. So Finbar's had a moment of options everywhere. I'm not sure what districts are thinking, but they're uh, certainly was, not marking up. That was very easy. There was there was no marker on him at all. No, uh, two options uh, at that point. So it's a bit of panic setting in now as well, I think. That's a that's a better ball for the keeper. Onto Quivine. And that's a poor pass. It's not something you want to be doing at this stage in the game. And once again, Finbar's hold it up and the switcher over. So Finbar's free here from uh, Roughly 45 metre line. They'll take their time here now. So Dunahoo with the ball here now, and he That's just takes a short one into the lead. Short one. Good challenge by districts there. Great they're, pressure. Try, they're putting good defence on. Great that's in. Districts. Great interception there by the districts man because the Fimbers man was waiting behind it. And they would have been in all sorts of trouble if it had gone through. It's good to see that the effort is still there. They haven't just given up. Exactly. Even if, uh, with the Fimbers forwards there, even yeah. making it very hard for the districts guys to get out of that back line. They get out now, however, and they've got that overlap. They're really going to need to make something of this. That was a solid, a solid run there by um, Keith Hartnett. He knocked Murph out of his socks. Stephen Casey, he's won the free. That was a, a dreadful tackle. No pun intended. Casually puts it over the bar. So we've now got five points between them. So again, I still don't see at this point in time. I think districts need a goal right now. Certainly need to bring it back by another point or two to make it interesting in the last couple of minutes. They'll throw everything at it from here on in. Yeah, here's hoping uh, we got number 19, Ivan Casey's on as well. The other Casey brother, he's. Yeah. Cover from his hamstring. There's lots of hustling and bustling and tussling going on here off the camera. Shane Power comes away with it again. He's got an act this man to find the ball. Fairly robust tackle there by the district's man. Finbar's come away with it again though. Shane Power out there now to. Uh, that's Shane Flynn. Shane Flynn. It's a lovely knee bandage he has on. You don't see him in like that these days, Mick. The district's come away with it. Away with it. McCarney's on it. He's looking for an option. He finds Stephen Casey. Stephen Casey wins it. He's trying to beat his man. He's being held up. He deserves that free, I think. He's worked hard for that. He's a little bit frustrated there. He's uh, he was away if he got around. I him. think if he got around him, he would have had a very clean run towards the goal there. Probably doesn't think it's a card, but it's a smart foul by the Fimbers man, in my opinion.
It's over the bar. Fantastic score. We're back to within four points. I'm running blind. Sorry there, guys. We're running blind there for a while. There was a few guys, I think, picked uh, made from uh, a pane of glass. All right, now all of our way so we can see again. Is that a score? That's, That's a great score. score. So now, looks, where, now it's interesting. We we'll asked where the scores are going to come from. Make it looks like Aaron McCartney's grabbing the screen by the scuff of the That's net. That's it. There's three points in it now. So, uh, as I said, get, get a win and a goal. Anyone's game. Finbars have seemed to drop away here for a while. They need to get back in this game. It's amazing how five minutes ago it didn't seem like they could, uh, they could have lost this one. It's cleanly won by uh, Vincent Lynham. I'm not sure why Sean Sweeney would decide to do that when you're behind. His bun must be on too tight. Score here now for Finbars is critical for their uh, for their game plan. Gives it to uh, John McLaughlin, Stephen Murphy, out to Pauly, back to Shane Power. Finbar is just working it around here patiently. Yeah, they need to be careful here, yeah. guys, not to get too smart. Lynham's looking for a deep ball yeah, into yeah. Paul Power. He's won that well. He's after, oh. Nearly yeah, beating his it. man, but not quite. John McLaughlin wins it back to Ronan O'Flaherty. Ronan's getting hassled hard, but he's holding on to the ball. He's managed he to give it. Well yeah. He takes it back again. The yeah, Finbars are doing well here now at the moment just to hold on to this. Need to be careful. Well done by Shane Power. Hatter Fawn's oh. up for a look. Vincent Lynham, John McLaughlin back to Murphy. Into Shane Power. He's got a good turn of pace. He's beaten his man. He wins the foul. The three. Again, no stating the obvious. This is an absolutely critical score for the for the Finbars team here. Yeah, I think Just to uh, put that extra point in it to get it outside the goal. Districts had the momentum there for for a bit. You did what you see the way yeah. Finbar settled the game down again. That's right. They didn't rush it, played it around, soaked up a bit of time, and eventually got the free. And now the points. So it's four points back in it. So just a time update, there's 25 minutes gone. Oh, so still 10 We're minutes. 30, in this game. 30 minutes a half. Talking, yeah, so we've only got five minutes left. Look, districts are certainly not out of this. They need to get up the field. Ah, by no score. means. It's a two-score game. Yep. And that's when you give a ball like from. that, it doesn't help, though. No. So Finbars will, Finbars will have uh, control of it here again now, and uh, they'll do their usual stuff. They will play it around, and they'll hold on to it. And they've proven me wrong. That's a good ball win by the corner back from Districts there, Owen Farrell. Again, oh, from this range, Districts need to make this dangerous. They need to get boys into that box. And don't give Finbars anything easy from this. McCarney's put this one on the ground. Just apologies on the time there. I, I didn't make the right statement. It's 35 minutes a half. So there's about seven minutes left at this stage of normal time. Thank you very much. 
That's a great kick. That's a good score. The Carney's come up with it once again. So back to a goal between the teams again. It's a one score game. We got seven minutes to play. It's still all to play for, really. Keeper decides to switch it out here to the wing. Bit of a delayed call Finbar's. here from the ref. Yeah. I don't believe they heard the whistle when it initially went. There's the Finbar's free here for chopping of the hands, I believe. So Clancy now with the ball for Finbar's. Lynham's not happy, he thought he should have had a free there, but the play continues. And it's a district win, I think one that will feel a bit, of, a bit of grief there, but they need to play on and play to the whistle. back on but he's lost the ball there that's patter fawn oh unfortunately there for Finmas and uh, no districts get it back and rebuilt so they look like they've got a bit, the of, uh, bit of fire in the belly here no does yeah i can feel it you can feel the momentum starting to swing towards them they really need to capitalize on the possession they have now mccarney's on the wall Gives it into that's Ivan Casey. Mickey Kennedy. Back out to McCarney. That was a solid hit, and he's earned a free. Yeah, over the shoulder with that hit. We've seen McCarney score a few from this angle already. So this is put two points in it now and really make it interesting. It's critical, he has to get this one. We've got about five minutes left. On, yeah, not sure what he was doing there. Um, maybe he doesn't know what time is left. But he seemed to be going for the short one when I would have uh, expected him to put that over the bar the way he's been kicking those. I would have tossed so too. I really want to bring that with into a two point game. Pushed into the corner by this guys. It's a good pressure. And well, that's the final whistle. It was like it was 30 minutes ahead. Yeah. <laughs> I don't bloody know. Yeah. Apologies for that, folks. But uh, yeah, yeah uh, so great, great, great win in the end here by St. Finbars. They managed to hold on. They, they did feel the pressure there towards the end. But uh, yeah, look, uh, for them, they'll be uh, happy regardless. Uh, great win. And again, against the... Uh, against the favourites, which were, which were definitely districts today. So, um, well done to all involved, and uh, especially well done to Finbars. Congratulations. Who do you think was your uh, player of the match, um, Mick? I think certainly for the first half, I don't know who for Finbars was fantastic. Mickey Kelly also showed a lot of flair for, for districts in the first half. Um, in the second half, uh, you, the, the likes of Shane Power coming into play and kicking that critical goal for Finbars. Um, and and uh, had a large part to play in a lot of the interconnecting play there at the, in, in around the half forward line. Um, yeah, I, I think so too. I think um, 
Stephen Murphy and his sexy moustache uh, gave some good ball into the forwards in the first half and he, he stayed pretty consistent through the second half as well. Yeah. And you'd have to give uh, some uh, credit also for McCarney. You know, for districts, he, he kicked yeah. some fantastic points though. He, he, yeah. he was probably the best player on their team, I reckon, for, for definitely the second half. Yeah, I'd agree with that. He dragged them back into the game. He kept he kept it to... It's unfortunate that he couldn't uh, capitalise on that last one, but... Yeah, I'd I agree think, with that. I think the better team won. Um, the yeah, I'd have to agree with that. The, yeah. the better team on the day. Um, certainly you'd have to give it a districts for the on average throughout the year they, they, were, they were a great team throughout the year yeah. um, but look at it, it matters on the final day I suppose and the uh, Fimbers have brought it today yeah well and that's the, be the, the beauty of uh, championship final knockout football you you can be the best team all year and the on the day the better team wins exactly so uh, yeah look I think the better team won and it was a great game of football it was probably the main point to be made here um, only a goal in it at the end, one twelve to twelve points. That's a great result all around for uh, all the neutrals, I suppose, as well. Just uh, sitting on the sideline here and watching on. So, uh, yeah, look, that's that's the end of the um, the season, I suppose, here in uh, Western Australia for 2021. And I think it's been a successful one at that. Yeah, I'd say it's a good a good uh, time at this stage to give a shout out to um, all the various voluntary committees who are involved with the football teams over the years over the throughout the year, the executive committee, the people at Tom Bateman here, Sean O'Casey, we've got Tom Murphy on the organised all the cameras and microphones to be here today. Yep. Um, Alan Burke, Ron and Cullen, the football subcommittee run by uh, Shane Barton and the hurling subcommittee run by um, Reggie from the Quinn. Uh, yeah. And look, everyone in general, that's, uh, that helps out. Also, all the sponsors. We won't go and try and name them, because guaranteed we forget one. Um, but look, for everyone that's helped out during the year, uh, thanks. And uh, look, this is, the, this is the culmination, I suppose, of all that effort and support. And look, uh, big crowd here today, and I think everyone's enjoyed it. Yep, so well done, Finbars. A deserved win. Commiserations to districts. And uh, over and out from us at this stage, folks. Yeah, uh, we'll, we'll hand it back to Joanne in the studio. All the best.
the teams who participated in the league at Hampshire this year. They've all contributed to a great year, so well done to all of them. Um, thanks to the officials, referees, linesmen, umpires for the game. It was a good game, so well done on that. All right, we'll call up. Um, I've got um, Dennis Bratton, the former one of the former Finbars players from back, in, uh, back a while ago, to present the cup. So I'll call up Paulie Donahue to receive the cup on behalf of Finbars. First of all, boys, uh, look, we'll just we'll just thank, we'll get the, the first bit of stuff out of the way. I want to thank West Force and Dirty Nellies. No, no, it's fine, it's up there. Uh, West Force and Dirty Nellies, um, our two sponsors, thanks very much for your support during the year, lads. Um, it's greatly appreciated by all the players for both the men's and ladies team. Thanks very much, just a cheers to them. Um, I want to thank uh, Alan Burke, lads, Mickey, and uh, Adrian Maguire for taking charge of the team this year. Look, it's, it's not an easy task to, to take over a team down here. I know people have lots of families and kids, and it's tough to get down a couple of nights a week, but you put in a great effort, boys. Thanks very much for all the help all year. <laughs> to, the, to the players, boys, look, um, when we start the back this year, it's tough. It's tough to come back after you've won something. The hunger mightn't be there. We had a tough couple of months trying to get fellas down, but when we did put the shoulder to the wheel two months into the year, you know, it was brilliant to see fellas really coming back with a serious appetite to try win a championship back. And this is our just reward today, boys. Congratulations. Um, to all, all, all the girlfriends, the wives and the kids and everything, thanks very much as well. Um, you've been brilliant all year. Um, I just want to say three cheers to districts. Look, boys, you're a fantastic team. Some brilliant footballers. We were we were worried about you coming into today. Um, you gave us a few tankings early on during the year. Uh, you're a brilliant team. I'm sure your day will come. So we've got three cheers for, for District. Hip. 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 And celebrate tonight, boys. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll throw that down there. So we'll give out the medals, boys. We'll go for our goalie first, Dara Kern. Hey. Yeah, I'll try to take my back. Dara, the man, Dara. Corner back today, Paul Rowan and Red. Full back, Padder. Load, boys, loader. Who's at the corner? Who's at the corner? Dermot Fitz. Our number five hurler, Alan Lynham. <laughs> number six, our commander in chief, Johnny Danley. My man. Our other wing back, Marky Atkinson. Come on, Marky. Our midfielder, Stephen Murphy. Worked out. Good man. Roll on, off Larta. What's reckon the Irish there? <laughs> uh, wing forward, who's the wing forward? John, John McLaughlin. Good man, John. Centre forward, Garo Clancy. Man, Gar. Number 12, Thomas Cooper Fahey. Yay! Yeah. My man. Paul Power. No oh, man, the lad. I was full, I'll get mine after. Who's the other? Who's inside us? Uh, Brian Lanergan. There, yeah, who's the subs there? Uh, Kali O'Mane, Kali, Wobbles. He's 17 there. I can't see him. Shane Flynn. Man Flinner. My man. Who's, who's number 18 there? I can't. Peter Pohl. 
Yeah, just give me a call out there. Yeah. Joe McGowan. Joe. Man, Joe. Oh. Keen Hart. Keen O. Man, Keen O, boy. He called it. Shane Power. Huh? He called it. Who's next? Kieran Fitch. Fitchy. Anyone not? Give me another name. Huh? Adrian McGuire. Edo. Oh, Jesus Christ. Anyone else working? Greg, Greg Murphy. Killian Durbin, the man killer. Yes. That just fell off there. I know, that just fell off there. Anyone else? Okay, Matt. Colin and Michael, Colin, Colin. Save the middle for myself there, Bucky. I didn't call me an MO. <laughs> Come on, Colin. Mike Fogarty. Man, Mike. Mark. Mark. We've only three medals. Who? Marty Tarfin. Have we enough? Have we two? Have we two? After this. Yes, we two, yeah. Adrian Allen, Marky Tor. Come up, boys. Yeah. Well done, lads. Great stuff. All good. Well done, Ada. Here you go, boys. Do that All right, people, we'll, uh, we'll present the uh, player of the game and the player of the year later on. Well done, and uh, enjoy the celebrations, everyone. Thank you.